Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on different pocket planner brands, what I think of each of them, how well Pocket Plus inserts fit in them, and kind of like my pros and cons. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I have four different planners and all four of these are different brands. So this is the Pocket Malden. This is the Filofax brand. And this one is probably not the best for me to use as an example because this has been Frankensteined. So I initially took the rings out when I was using it with my Pocket Moleskine and then I had to put rings back in. And these are Moterm rings and they don't sit as flush as the original Pocket Malden rings would sit. And so it's not gonna be like a true, true representation, but I feel like it's close enough. I did have the green pear Malden in pocket as well, but I did end up sending that one back because it had that underhang that drives me nuts and I, I just couldn't get over it. So if this sat back more flush into the planner, it would have a little bit less overhang than it does now. But even with the way it is, I'm perfectly fine with it. It actually doesn't bother me as picky as I am. I have thought about getting another pocket molden just because I would like to have one that sits correctly. Um, the reason why I ended up re-ringing this was because I just, I thought that this was the prettiest molden that I had ever seen and I really wanted it to be used. I don't know that it would be something that I would want to use long term, however, and I would definitely not suggest uh, removing the rings from these if you do think that there's a chance that you're going to use it in the future um, because it's just not as stable because it has all of that backing removed out of here and so you're just putting a ring through a piece of leather and it's just not as stable. So this is 19 millimeter rings that it was replaced with. And I do think that it was 19 millimeter rings that it came with. I could be wrong about that though. They do seem smaller to me and I can't easily get a pen in the back here like I was able to with the pair. So something is different. I just don't know exactly what it is. But I do love the Filofax Malden. It's my favorite of the Filofax line. The only thing that is a detractor for this, say we'll pretend like these were the rings that it came with and that aside, um, it doesn't make it as easy, in my opinion, to use as a wallet. So let me see if I can find a gift card or something here. All right, so if you take a gift card, which is obviously the same size as like a debit card, if you put it in here or here, it's just, it's not as easy to get to and it also isn't secure. Like on the Filofax Malden personal size and above, you have kind of slots that are obvious to put a card in and they will hold them in there just fine. And so I do wish that Filofax would either make the card slots going this way with like the sewn piece in the middle to kind of hold it in better or if they would do a different configuration. I know a lot of people use pocket planners as a wallet planner combination and I just feel like Filofax has kind of missed an opportunity to make this a little bit easier to use as a wallet. I know that you can get inserts for your planner to put your cards in but I do prefer personally for the planner cover itself either on the front or the back to have that already done for you. So this one has this little zipper pocket here that you can put change or something in and then you can put things in this slot, this slot, or this slot. So it does have room and then you have this big back pocket here and then this one here. You also have the full length back pocket on the planner. And I would say that even with that being kind of an annoyance that you can't use it as easily as a wallet because there are no official card slots, that the only other thing that is the thing that I don't understand why Filofax just does not listen to their customers. Um, this pen loop is historically and famously so difficult to use and you have to have just a certain pen to fit in there and it's kind of bothersome. 
So this Sarasa Grand pen does fit in here. And I do like this pen. However, I do prefer to not have a pen this heavy. Uh, they look really, really pretty, uh, but it's heavy in my hand and I feel like it doesn't make my handwriting feel the way I want it to. And after all of my struggles with the Hobonichi Weeks and not having the pen that I want, it's just, it's just one of those things where you're like, you just want what you want, you know, and <laughs> you shouldn't have to fight. This Pentel Energel, this is the, I think it's called the Clen, no, no, Kuro, K-U-R-O, I think, or A, K-U-R something, O or A. You can find these at Target. That is also thin enough, but the Energel is not my favorite finer tipped pen. I actually have this Uniball Signo pen and the body says 0.5, but I have slipped a 0.38 insert, not insert, a 0.38 uh, nib in here from another Uniball pen. Uniball has some really nice pens and right now, this is my favorite. Uh, I really have been enjoying Uniballs. I've been using them at work. I've been using in my planner and I would really like for there to be a pen uh, that can fit in this pen loop. And that aside, even with the cards not being the way I want, I would still use this. It just kind of irritates me that they will not fix the pen loops in the Maldens. They would just need to make them bigger, make them elasticized, do something. And I feel like that's one thing about Filofax. As much as I love the brand, I feel like they don't take the time to listen to what their customers want or need. The Malden pen loop specific issue has been talked about so much in the planner community. And I feel like as many people as like to shop with Filofax, they would take the time to listen to their customers and make those adjustments to make a wonderful planner perfect um, by taking care of that pen loop issue. Stepping off my soapbox now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just take everything out of here and move on to the next planner. Okay, so the next one is the Gilio, and I am telling you, this planner is divine. I love this leather. I bought this on a buy sell trade group and it has all of the texture that I've ever wanted or needed in my life. You guys, if you're not new here, you know I love texture. Um, like the Malden, this one lies pretty flat and I love that in a planner as well. This one has the 19 millimeter Krauss rings. This one came with gold. All right. So I did have to take a couple of things out of my planner when I did move into this one from my Vanderspeck, which I probably will show next. Um, this one makes it a little bit more difficult to get stuff inside. If you're not a person who likes to keep a pretty streamlined planner, I do my best to do that myself. I take out inserts every month and don't like a chunky planner. So if you are a chunky planner, this one might not work out for you. Um, and since I'm using Pocket Plus specifically, this one, I would not be able to get any bigger rings inside because it would, I think, overhang way more than the Malden because it just doesn't have a lot of more, it doesn't have a lot more room um, and that would probably spill it way over the edge. I do like the design of this one. I always like a little pocket here to put a little something, so that's nice. And then I like that your card slots are really easy to access, so if you're using it as a wallet, I think that's perfect. It has this nice secretarial flap here, another secretarial flap here with the zippered uh, section here with the little leather piece to cover up the zipper. I do appreciate that a lot. And then again, hey, $2, um, <laughs> the big back pocket. I actually really love the way this one feels in the hand. It is nice and trim and it makes the pocket planner itself feel small like the Malden. And I do like the fact that Pocket planners are really portable and small and they don't take up a lot of room in your handbag. And when you get into covers that are bigger, 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 then it just doesn't seem like 
it seems like you're losing one of the things that you started using a pocket planner to begin with for. Um, so I really enjoy this one. The only con that this one has, in my opinion, is again, the pen loop. The pen that I want to use doesn't go in here very easily. I already have an issue here where the pen loop, you're probably not gonna be able to see this very well, but it's kind of separating away from the leather. So the elastic and the leather are not behaving well. They are not friends. And that makes me really sad because that makes me feel like I, again, have to choose a different pen or not put a pen in here at all. Or a lot of people always say, well, just get an elastic pen loop on a little sticky thing or whatever and stick it in the back of your planner. But I think that part of the reason why I don't want to do that is because I don't think that it's aesthetic and it's like obvious that the elastic pen loop doesn't match the rest of the planner and this is this is a higher end planner and I just I don't like the way that looks. So with this one it makes me feel like I have to make some decisions with pens again and like I said after the whole Hobonichi debacle I just I don't want to be thinking about that kind of thing but Gilio definitely in my opinion wins with the design as far as it is nice and compact and the leather is beautiful and it lays flat and of course it has the Krauss rings can't go wrong there just would love a different pen loop let's see all right now this one came today and the reason why i'm doing this video right now is because i'm sending this one back um, this is the mo term which mo term is good and i feel like you get a lot for your money um, but this particular one it's like they put too much leather here it wasn't measured correctly and so no matter what you've got this hump and it's not going to stay flat. This, it would, it would relax if I put stuff in it, but it's always gonna have something back here. And so it's gonna go from one side or the other and never lay flat. And I just can't handle it. Um, <laughs> these are 30 millimeter rings and I do have replacement rings. Um, I do have replacement rings in 25. I actually purchased well I have a few that have been they have been held hostage for three or four weeks now with FedEx I'm really upset about that um, that have never arrived to me yet I have it in black though and as you can see this one behaves normally and lays pretty flat the other one is it's kind of more like a seesaw and it won't behave so this is what it looks like in the 25 millimeter rings and this is what it looks like with the 30 millimeter rings for me i just can't um 30 with the pocket plus does have a little bit of overhang here it doesn't have any with the 25 millimeter rings and i just don't want a planner that chunky and i don't want a spine that big um, for me it feels like it takes away the whole the whole point of having a pocket planner for the Moterm, however, you do get a whole lot for what you pay for. You have this little pocket here. I love that it matches in height to this side. This one is wider because you have the zipper here. And I will give bonus points, I think, to Moterm because they really, really do listen to their customer. This is a Lux 2.0. You can find a couple of the colors now on Amazon, which is where this one is from. And they only come with 30 millimeter rings, but you can get two pair of 25 millimeter rings for like eight something. They're not as good quality as Filofax, and they're definitely not as good quality as the Krauss rings. But you have to remember the price point as well. The other thing about Moterm that you need to remember is that this leather has been like steamed and pressed and made the pebble. It's not a natural pebble that you would get with some other kinds of planners so you know again you have to think about the price point difference this one this one on buy sell trade cost me $250 this one cost me $50 so you know you have to make some concessions for that but they have really listened I mean the zipper matches the planner they have added the little bit of leather here to protect the 
the inserts from the zipper, and they have pockets everywhere. I wish it was just a little bit more simple, personally. Um, so you have three card slots here, you have this little pocket here, secretarial pocket here, then this little pocket here, three more card pockets here. This is where I feel like maybe we could have done without. So there's this other little pocket here, secretarial, and then big back pocket. They also have updated the fly leaf, which I don't have out with either of my planners, but it now is more useful. I do wish that it didn't have a pen loop attached because I don't like that look in my planners. Otherwise I would be using the fly leaf in these because it is very functional. This one is the olive color and it is different than the Gilio, but I think both of these are good options if you're looking for olive green. So as far as like listening to the customers and everything, I'm gonna take it back to the Filofax situation. So where Filofax has known that people have complained forever and ever about their pen loop um, and has never changed that <laughs> about the uh, planner, Moterm has changed the kind of pen loop that they have, where the pen loop sits, they've reconfigured pockets, and all of that has come from customer feedback. So like I said, bonus points to Moterm for listening to their customers. And then the last one, but not least, as you can see, this is the planner that I'm currently in. This one is the Vanderspeck, and this is the Touch Me to Back. And for this one, I have 25 millimeter rings. I love these because they, I, I love this leather. Um, you can tell that it's good quality. This is buffalo leather. It's treated with something. It has some kind of coating to help it not get scratched. Um, that's something that's important to me. I know a lot of people love for their leather to look lived in and to have its story. I like mine to look nice. If I'm carrying this Gilio, I have it in a pouch because I don't want anything to happen to it. When I'm carrying this, I don't really worry about it because well, I am careful with my planners, but I also um, don't worry about it because of the coating that's on it. Just saw a little loose thread here. Hopefully that's all right. Um, anyway, so this is the Touch Me line, which means that you have no changes. It just comes as it comes, but that gives you a couple of different things. It gives you immediate shipping. They ship it within like five business days and it's a lower price point and these are beautiful. This one lies fat, flat. I love it. I love this color. It's kind of a, it's somewhere between like a caramel and a burnt orange. And it, it's definitely my vibe. This one is, it does not have a protected zipper pull. That's one thing that I do wish that they would change. It has the little pocket here. You have a pocket here, pocket here, which as you can see, I have lots of stickers. I don't have anything in the zipper pocket. On this side, you have three card slots, another pocket here, and then a secretarial flap. I have some unsticky post-it notes here, and then the big back pocket. You can have either 19, I believe, 19 or 20, something like that, rings in it uh, when it, you choose your planner, or you can choose 25. This one is 25. And as you can see, it works really, really well with Pocket Plus. I would love to try other leathers as well outside of the Touch Me, but then it's a custom and you have to wait a long time and then you have all kinds of decisions to make. I would love this planner in a Janet leather brown, but if I did all of those customizations, it was going to be way, way out of the price point that I would be comfortable with. I would be fine with the... Janet Leather Brown in the kind of um, base that they have for their custom rings, but I would not have any idea. Um, I guess I could just tell Petra I would like it to be the same width as the Touch Me line because like I said, it works perfectly. But I also then would have that long wait, which is difficult <laughs> because I just don't have a lot of patience. The only thing that's a negative for me about this design is that the pen loop is kind of tight. I can get the pen that I want to use in here um, without, without too much trouble. It's definitely not as difficult as the Gilio and it's not impossible 
like the file effects, but I would like for it to go in and out of here without having to kind of work with it like that. And I guess it's fair to mention with the Moterm, this one is bigger to start out with and it's elasticated. So I haven't had any trouble getting any pin in here. Let me get one that has a thicker, you can even get a thicker uh, rubbery pen barrel in there with no problem. So that would be my only negative with this. I love this planner. Um, the other thing that I didn't mention yet that I wanted to mention is that I wish that the pen loop were a little beefier in the Gilio. I feel like this looks super wimpy. Um, it just needs to be, I don't even like, like if I were ordering custom, I wouldn't order like the big giant clasp to go with my planner. I feel like this is good. Um, this is really wimpy. Um, this one is a little big, but it doesn't bother me. And of course, style points go to the Malden. I love, I love the look of the Malden clasp. I do have a rust. It's also a lighter color rust that is closer to my touch me to back. I think that that one is going to be in the cell pile because it's, it's too similar to this color. I'm going to hang on to this one because you just can't with that texture, but I do find myself reaching for this one a little bit less because of the pen loop. And then with the Moterm, um, I've kind of been on the fence about if I'll keep this one or not. Uh, because I just feel like I prefer the Vanderspeck. Also, the, the Moterm is about the same width, but it's just a tiny bit shorter than the Vanderspeck. The Gilio is just a little bit shorter and less wide, and you have a much smaller uh, spine. For the Malden, it's just a tiny bit taller than the Gilio and it looks to be the same width. Their spines are pretty similar. And then I'm going to compare <laughs> the Mo terms to each other. Of course, they're gonna be the same size like this, but the spine 25 millimeter and 30. I definitely prefer this. And then I'll compare the 25 spine to these. I would say that if you love a chunky planner, you probably should get the 30 millimeter in the Moterm because that's gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck. I just don't think that you're gonna be able to use it if you use pocket plus inserts. If you use true pocket inserts, it's gonna be just fine to go that big because that's what it was designed for. So which design is your favorite? I'd love to know in the comments below, have you ever tried pocket planning? I've tried it over and over again and it just didn't work for me and somehow just that little bit of size difference with the Pocket Plus has made all the difference and I am so enjoying being back in rings and this pocket size I feel like is just the perfect perfect size so I'm really enjoying it. I'd love to hear what you guys are using if not rings. I know a lot of people aren't ring users. What kind of planner are you using and has everybody got out of their planner funk? I felt like I was in it for months this year. I'm so glad to not be there anymore. And I hope that you guys have found your own planner piece. If you have any questions about any of these planners that I haven't answered already, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and don't wanna miss out on future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.